join me at this moment in history and welcome Barack Obama. I really don't know the man. Uh, so I, it's hard to tell you my personal thoughts about him. I liked the way he talked uh, when he was uh, first came on the scene. I liked his manner. He's very quick, very alert. He's a Democrat, so they do have some priorities. He is for stem cells. He wants to get some kind of universal health care going. Uh, there's several other pro education, redo the educational system, uh, and a few other things like that. So I'm going for him. That's it. Uh, like I say, uh, I'm, I'm going to him on, a, on an act of faith. Well, I put it in my song. I put it in there in the last verse there. We opened the gate, talking about Barack Obama. We opened the gate, so don't press the digitate, Minnie. Don't be a magician. Don't use sleight of hand. You know, don't hear, now you see the ball, now you don't see it. Don't press the digitate, vacillate, deviate, right wing, conciliate, stem cell obviate. And I'm telling him, don't change, don't waver. We got you in on those issues, and you better stick to it. He's really an opportunist. Uh, he's a very dangerous man. He's been in office 26 years. And he says, oh, we've got to get Congress to do this. And he's been there 26 years. What has he done? He acts like he wasn't there. He acts like Bush hasn't been around for eight years. What have they done? Two weeks ago, he was saying, government should not be allowed in Wall Street. We don't need restrictions. We don't need, and now we say we should have had, we should have restrictions and regulations and the government should be out of it. He's terrible. The Dow loses more than 400 points 10 today. million homes in foreclosure, gonna be another 20 million, and now they wanna bail out everybody that couldn't even qualify for a loan. They wanna bail them out. Well, what about the millions of other Americans that bought home that made their payments? that are good citizens. What happens to them? They're stuck holding the bag with their big loans and they're gonna get 10 million people out of their loans and renegotiate. See, this country's reached a, 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 a political thing now and a money thing. We're too big to fail. And that's what they thought. They thought nothing's gonna happen to them because they can always run to daddy government. Open up the treasury. Give me unlimited funds because I need money. I made a mistake. And that's what's going on now. They're, they're giving up, they open up the Fed window, they call it, and the banks now can run up there and just draw billions on. There's no way they can lose. And I'm saying if they're too big to fail, they're too big to be in business. Too big to fail, you're too big to be in business then. Get out of business, break them up. You know, break them into 10 different parts or stop it. And the government should tell right now, any company, Wall Street, anyone who goes out of business, you're out of business. Let them fail. Nobody saved my father. See? They didn't save him. He failed, and he went out of business, and he lost his home, and he left me. And my mother, he couldn't take it. No, who saved him? And they saved those bastards on Wall Street because they're too big to fail. Is that America? Where's our flag? Where's the justice for all? <laughs> Where's the justice? There ain't no justice, that's what it is. There ain't no justice. There ain't no justice.